hey, at the end of this video, check out the new PhoneDog.com homepage and spin to win. Play the One Pod Bandit. Win free phones. All right, back home now. See, you didn't even notice video editing. So nice. And uh, palm tree in the middle. It's the one that's lit up. Just for size comparison, uh, these are kind of the four of the major U.S. carriers. Here's your four flagship phones: iPhone 3G for AT&T, Palm Pre for Sprint, G1 with Google for T-Mobile, and uh, the BlackBerry Storm for Verizon, which, I don't know, I, I, I think it's their flagship phone as far as positioning. I don't know if I'd consider it my favorite Verizon phone. But anyway, there you go. So just kind of size comparison, you can see the Pre is, is small uh, compared to these other devices, definitely smaller than the others in terms of both overall size and screen size a little bit smaller as well, but you kind of also on the pre, you have less plastic bezel area around the device. If you line, if we line these up according to the top edge of the screens, you'll see, you know, all the other devices. I mean, the screen is noticeably smaller, but, uh, you know, compared to the G1, for instance, the screen size is not that much different, but on the G1, you have, you know, the larger chin on the bottom there. When the pre is extended with the keyboard open, the length is, you know, a little bit longer than the other phones here. The G1 obviously has the keyboard that opens the other way, like that. Anyway, there you go, just a quick size comparison. Uh, we'll do a little bit of thickness comparison, and the Pre is, you know, it looks like, this is eyeballing, we'll obviously get the specs. Thicker than the iPhone, roughly the same thickness, probably a little bit thinner than the G1, and a little bit thinner than the, the Storm. Um, and like the iPhone, the Pre has the rounded, you know, edges which are, I think, designed both to make it fit, feel nicer in the hand and also to give the illusion of being a little bit thinner than it actually is. Uh, but the more I've tested out all these phones, the more I realize that the, the rounded edges do make the phone feel a little bit nicer in the hand, which is cool. All right, so the phone's activated. We'll dig in a little bit. Again, we're gonna do lots of coverage of this phone because the, uh, you know, the public seems to want it. And so, stay tuned for plenty of videos. Terms and conditions, except. Also, uh, our own Tom and Aaron are going to be hitting up the pre-launch party in Atlanta, Georgia tonight. Special event, so they'll have, have coverage from there as well. Uh, live, live coverage from the event, some videos, maybe some interviews with some of the Palm and Sprint executives. And um, also their own hands-on reactions to the devices as well. So I'm going to create a new profile here. Enter my name. Um, the buttons... Password, you don't need to see this. All right, so I did a little typing just there to enter my uh, password and my email address. And the keys are, you know, they're kind of interesting. They, they feel a little bit sticky, like they have a little bit of sort of rubberized plastic on top. And then the actual uh, tops of the keys are kind of, um, you know, that kind of sticky plastic. I, I think you'll know if you, if you touch the, you know, if you get your hands on one, you'll know what I mean. As opposed to something like the G1 here, which is kind of more of like a, a grippy matte finish plastic. Um, the uh, the pretty a little bit different, kind of a little more it, sticky as opposed to grippy. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's kind of like that clear see-through plastic and then underneath it, there's kind of, it feels like, you know, there's a top layer of that and then underneath it a little bit more squishy. And uh, I don't know, I, I wish the keys were bigger. Um, that being said, I was able to type on first go a little bit more easily than I thought I might. So we'll have to see. I like that there's a dedicated at key and a period key, space bar, double width, a little more than double width. Uh, let's keep going. So far, the uh, screen has been pretty good. It's nice that when you tap, you get that little um, little ripple effect to let you know that you actually tapped. You have to agree to about 8 million terms of services here. We'll turn on the auto locate GPS. And there you go. And let's find out about one of the phone's most important features. And this is a nice little tutorial. So you've got your touch screen, your multi-touch screen, and then the gesture area, which is just below the screen. And you can see sometimes when you do things, there's an LED underneath the uh, home button here that actually lights up. See how it just lit up? And then to the side, there are also LEDs that light up again to let you know that you're actually doing stuff. Very user-friendly, nice little uh, tutorial here. Obviously the screen, really nice. The fonts look great. Um, this is good, you know, Sprint's whole ready now thing, they're trying to trying to get, you know, customers out the door feeling like they know what they can do with the device and how to do it. 
And uh, this little tutorial here certainly helps in that regard. And this is better than the manual because, you know, the manual you're not even going to look at, most people, myself included, you're just going to get on the phone and try to figure it out. But here, you know, you turn the phone on, it's an interactive manual, and you're like, oh, that's cool, oh, it works, oh. So kudos to Palm for uh, hooking this up, the interactive tutorial. Showing the different gestures, uh, basically by way of showing us, you know, how to go through these, these photos, seeing if I remember how to do the back gesture, which I do. Thank you very much. I get an A. Yep, I've got it. Terrific. Okay, so now the phone's going to have to restart, I suppose, to hook up my, uh, my palm profile and everything. You can see kind of, you know, it's almost like an ad for the phone itself, which is, you know, kind of funny, but also when you first get the phone, like seeing this will make you think like, oh, there's all these things I can do. And also I can uh, just drop the phone and go camping instead, because, you know, you get your little, uh, your little outdoorsy thing there. Anyway. Thank you. I will have fun. We'll get a little restart happening. Uh, the phone's pretty lightweight. It does feel a little bit plasticky. I had seen in some of the reviews that it feels kind of plasticky um, compared to, you know, a device like the iPhone or the Storm, which feels a little more, you can feel kind of the heft of the glass and the, and the metal in these devices. Um, the Pre definitely feels a little bit more, you know, like plastic. Uh, the lightweight is nice. I think it'll probably, you know, we'll do the pants test, see how it fits into the pocket, but uh, I think that'll, It'll fit pretty well, um, and it does feel really nice in the hand. Uh, it feels a little bit, you know, when it's when it's closed here. There's a little bit of give between the two layers. You can I don't know if you can see just a little bit of of action there, which is a little disconcerting. That right out of the box, you know, it's it's a little bit wobbly, um, and my battery's low. low. But here you go. Here's the main home screen. Um, and you can get your little wave bar, which is pretty cool. And you know, your little pop-up uh, text that tells you what the different things are. We'll bring that back down. There's your launcher. And so we'll just real quick, the screen response seems pretty good so far. Real quick, we'll fire up, you know, photos. And then we'll go back to the home screen and we'll fire up something else just to show you the cards interface for your multitasking, one of the pre's big features. And so here you go. So here we'll load up uh, ESPN. Kobe just took over the third quarter last night. That was crazy. He hit some crazy shots. Oh, and Fed won in five sets. Awesome. Fed and Soderling in the finals. I totally forgot that was today. Excellent. I'm happy about that. And here's your card. So I've got my uh, my web browser open in one card there, and then my other card with my uh, my photos open right now. So we'll open up one of these photos. And while that's opening, oh, let's go back and let's find out what actually happened, what the score was in this five-set thriller, Federer against Del Potro. Del Potro is a good player, and uh, he came from behind twice. Three six seven six two six six one six four, nice. And so then we'll go back, and maybe in the meantime we'll go back to the launcher and uh, let's get some. I don't know if there's any music preloaded on here. Eight gigs of storage. Oh, my library is empty. Come on, Palm, you could have hooked me up with some music. Anyway, there you go. Does Pandora come pre? I may not. I may have to go to the App Store to get to Pandora. Well, all right. I think that's a good place to stop. It's a first look unboxing at the Palm Pre Sprint's new, uh, you know, it might be a little too much to say they're pinning all their hopes on this phone because obviously they have lots more coming down the pike. You know, I'm sure they'll have Android phones and uh, 
new Windows mobile devices. They have a strong relationship with LG, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But this is the big one. Uh, the big one for this year so far, the Palm Pre on Sprint. Uh, today is Friday. It's available starting this weekend, $199 on contract. Here it is. Uh, that's an unboxing. I'm not going to give you a review until I've actually, you know, tested the thing out. I mean, what's a review if I haven't had time to review it yet? So I'm going to get into it. And uh, lots more video coverage today. We'll show you kind of as I go through reviewing it, show you the different features and everything. But so far, so good. Let's, let's do a little tiny bit of uh, multi-touch here just to show you. Yeah. Definitely responsive. Doesn't, you know, the materials maybe don't feel quite as high quality as uh, an iPhone or even a, a G1 or a Storm for that matter, just in terms of the materials. But so far, the actual responsiveness of the device is quite good. There you go. Uh, it wouldn't be a Noah from Phone Dog video without a look at my mug. I guess you got me in the beginning when I was uh, running up that hill. But here, let's let's try out the camera. Did I get it? I didn't get it. There I am. For PhoneDog.com, I'm Noah from PhoneDog. Much, much more on the Palm Pre, all the new stuff over on PhoneDog.com, and many more videos to follow this one. So definitely keep an eye out. We'll give you all the pre-coverage we can, including a whole bunch of dog fights, <clears throat> in the very near future. See you next time. Thanks for watching.